Hello YouTube, this is sonic 2 here, and welcome back to uh, a new series. This series is going to be on requested things for Love 0.9.x. Um, I've gotten a few requests to do things in Lua, and I thought it would be a good idea to make a requested series. I kind of got the idea to make a requested series from DermotFan. He did a requested series for LibGDX, so I thought it would be a good idea to make a, a requested series for Love. <laughs> so, yeah kind of props to him for coming up with that requested series idea um because these are going to be things that i will assume knowledge of love and i will briefly explain things but things will eventually be covered in my uh love series so today uh in the first episode we're going to cover how to make a uh, sort of typewriter effect or a gradual text writing um effect here is a look at what we're going to make um I'm not going to, I'm going to write all this, but uh, here is a quick demo of the effect that we're going to do. So without further ado, let's get started. Uh, of course you're going to need to know the basics of love, at least have watched my tutorial series, and know Lua. So, Let's dive right in. First of all, we need to make a delay variable. This is going to be the delay between uh, each character. I'm going to make my delay 0 0.5, because that's what it was in the uh, little demo I gave. And time, timer equals zero. This is the, the timer variable that we have. We're going to make local uh, text or string. This is going to be our initial string. Uh, we'll just use And I have a website. You should totally check it out at sonic.com. Uh, okay, this is going to be the string that will be displayed. Then we want to make a string table and this is going to be a table to hold each of our characters local text equals uh, this this is the text that will be displayed now of course we don't need this but this is a uh, sort of a good way to reference things if you need to reference what is being displayed currently and then also you can add things like new lines and and stuff you can do some more fancy manipulation we're also going to want uh, an index variable We'll call this uh, i equals zero, and this is our one. This is going to be the current index that we're on. Um, you'll see how this works later. Then we're going to have uh, another local variable. Since it's local inside love.load, well, love.load is going to get called whenever the game is uh, first ran. So whenever you, but this is where all the behind the scenes stuff happens. And it's called whenever your game is loading. This is where you would add stuff like asset loading and stuff. Um, whenever this function ends, whenever this function is no longer called, once it serves purpose, things here get removed and cleared from memory. And that's why it's good to use local, because then things get cleared from memory quicker. Anyway, um, we're going to call this index, and we're going to have this equal to 1. Now we need to do some funky stuff. We're going to need to do some regular expressions. Don't worry if you don't know how to use regular expressions. I will uh, explain it all. Uh, Gmatch dot do and as bring table index equals c index equals index plus one next we're going to want to increment our timer variable by saying timer equals timer plus dt this is slightly inaccurate um well, for timers, it is pretty inaccurate, but it'll serve its purpose for right now. Then we're going to want to say, if timer is greater than equal to, why can I not do this, uh, delay. This is going to check to see if our timer variable, if the length of, this will basically count up the time, by the way, in case you can already gather that. Timer, if it's greater than or equal to our delay, so if the amount of time we want to wait has passed, and uh, i is less than or equal to, the length of the string table hash basically just gets the length of something then 
we want to say uh, text equals text concatenate so concatenate what is currently on our text um, to string so that it's definitely a string string table i uh, i equals i plus one timer equals zero so we want to reset the timer and here we want to say love.graphics.set new font what this does is this creates a new font and sets it and it, I think it will return a new font as well so you can say uh, my font equals this and you can pass in uh, the size and the path but we just want to use the default path and we want to set a string size of 50 and then uh, love.graphics.printf I will cover fonts in the love series but you can go and look up fonts on the wiki you can just say uh, love to do that http colon slash slash www.lovetoday.org slash wiki slash love.graphics that set new font without the brackets and then what we can say here is text zero zero uh, this is like love.graphics to print except text zero zero and then we, we can pass in uh, some other arguments but the only other arguments that we're going to pass in are uh, the width so the width print f is print formatting so uh, what is the width before we want the text to be wrapped? So what size can the text become before it'll get wrapped? And that width will be um, The width of the window love.graphics.get width and then how do we want it to be gland? We get a gland to the right set there Justify or left left is generally good and Here we go there's our typewriter effect. This took me about an hour to work out how to do. <laughs> um, oh my god, this was difficult. And for some reason, this hammer is taking a long time. Uh, let's bring this down to 0 0.3. There we go. Thank you, AK. Now has a website. I never explained what this did. Uh, for C in string G match, this basically says string dot G match match every character with the pattern. Um, the pattern here is a dot. This is regular expression, and uh, regular expression dot means every single character. Uh, white space, new line. Well, I think it doesn't include new line, but every character except new line. So it will include digits, I think, and uh, stuff like that. Actually, let's test if it includes digits. Yep, it includes digits. So it will include everything except a new line character, I think. Uh, that's going to take ages to get to. Let's say 0 0.01. Uh, there we go. Oh, it does do new lines. Ah, oh, well then it matches pretty much everything. Um, you can look up what it matches and what it doesn't on the internet. Just look up regular expression dot or period or whatever. And it says from um, string table index, so we get the the index of tables and uh, assign the current index at zero or one. And then the first, excuse me, the first item in the table will become the character because this um, this is for every character in uh, the string um, as long as it matches this pattern, which is every character, and then increment the index so that the index will increase each time and then we increase the timer if the timer is uh, more than our delay so if the time we should wait for the delay is passed and so this also has to be true if our current index is less than or equal to so if our index isn't larger than the length of the table then text equals text so we're adding the current character to the string we're incrementing our index and resetting our timer so that the timer can increment again and go back and, and stuff. There's, uh, I can think of another way to do this, but it's very complicated. Let's say center for this, then it centers it. That goes very, very fast. <laughs> very, very fast, actually. 0.07, probably a bit slower. Sonic 2 k now has a website. You should totally check it out at http slash sonic2kk.pythonanywhere.com in face. Okay. Now to make this more like a typewriter, we could add a sound effect. So up here we can say, 
local um, type writer sound effect was love dot audio dot new source. And this is going to be what I called it right here typewriter dot mp3. This is in my uh, love zero point m one zero directory. And then here we can say um. Type writer sound effect play. And then we could copy this and say stop. And it's not working. Well, anyway, you get the idea. Um, I think it's because it's too long for each character, because the sound effect's very long. There you go. So you could, uh, of course, you could go into it and make it so it plays it each time. But uh, I won't. Because <laughs> this plays it every 0 0.07 seconds. And obviously uh, the length of the clip is one second. So, well, it's one second-ish. Yeah, that's how inaccurate the DT is. There we go. Now we have a typewriter sound effect. And of course you can't really see the space, but yeah, the space was the hard part to get. This is what took me around 20 minutes to get. The rest of it took about an hour. <laughs> but the length I go to, to please you guys. Uh, but yeah, hopefully that helps you. Um, I will have the person's name and channel link in the description of who asked this question. Hopefully this helps you. And yeah, thanks for watching. My name is Sonic TKK and I will see you in the next tutorial.